Hi there. I'm Neelam Chakrabarty. I'm the product marketing manager for cloud service automation. And I'm here at HP Discover in Barcelona. We have some really exciting things going on out there. Um, hi, Andy. Are you here already? Hi, Neelam. Yeah, I'm just here. I just got in and uh, really excited to be here in Barcelona. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing some exciting news you got for us. Yes, we do have. So we have uh, just announced our next release of Cloud Service Automation 4.0. And we have some uh, very exciting new enhancements in there. Um, the first one, the very important one that I think is uh, our you know, promise of open and extensibility. We have once again proved that we are a much more open platform. And now we have native integration with HP Cloud OS. So as folks out there may know that HP Cloud OS is um, a technology that is built um, on top of OpenStack. So it is open source technology. And we are also supporting the cloud standards like Tosca. So Tosca is one of the latest standards, cloud standards, that companies are trying to adapt so that they can make their workloads more portable between private and public cloud. So our topology-based designer, which you can use to design um, you know, HP Cloud OS designs, now supports Tosca standards. So that is really cool. Nice. And uh, one of the uh, other enhancements, uh, which you can actually see, and so it is more exciting, is the new look and feel. So we have completely revamped the service marketplace side, the subscriber portal, and it looks really, really beautiful. Of course, it was good looking before too, but now it's very <laughs> customizable. You know, you can have square circles the way you like them, and uh, you can put your logos in there, or you ha can have a custom theme completely. So very customizable UI. Uh, very plus, nice. you can have mashups, right? I mean, do you guys hear about mashups? Every other website has that now, and so yeah. we have the capability in CSA. So you want to point to another external website, you want to or embed any external service into your HP Cloud Service Automation's uh, self-service portal, you can do that. You know, have your news feed, have your Stack Overflow um, you know, forums and things okay. like that. You can have them now in uh, the portal. And um, uh, the, the UI, uh, the other thing is the UI is very responsive. So uh, what that means is that if you want to use Cloud Service Automation on your mobile device, on your laptop, desktop, it just fits perfectly fine. So you don't have to sit in front of the computer right now the way we are sitting to use a CSA. Andy, you can take it to the beach now. I was about to say we're in Barcelona, so I'm going to go and get my, uh, my HP slate and go down to the beach and, uh, and, and, and look at my CSA from there. Fantastic. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, and Neelam, uh, mm -hmm. I had the chance to see some of the customers actually take a look at uh, CSA mm -hmm. 4.0. Ford out on. They were really excited about the user interface. They thought it was easy to use, and it was something that definitely could ben benefit their their end customers. Oh, that's awesome! That's a really good news. Very encouraging. That. All right. So those are some really great, exciting features, and I hope uh, you get to check it out. We yeah. will be having demo sessions. We have presentations that will show off our new enhancements, and uh, there are uh, four booths that we have for at HP Discover. Two are in the Converge Cloud Zone and two in the HP Software Zone. So definitely exactly. go and check it out. Cool. I'm going to go there now, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, and, uh, and if anyone's not attending, they'll be able to find the information on our hp.com pages? Uh, yes, yes. The hp.com slash go slash CSA page will be updated with all the latest information. So if you miss out, then just find us there. Marvelous. Marvelous. That sounds excellent. Thanks, Neelam. Hi, thank you.